In this lesson, we'll learn how to classify mixtures. Question one reads, classify each of the following as a pure substance, whether it's an element or a compound, or a mixture, homogeneous versus heterogeneous. For question A, copper in a copper wire. Now remember, copper, if you take a look at the periodic table, is an element. And in order to make copper wire, you need elemental copper. So this is pure copper. And this is why copper is expensive. If you ever were to find pure copper from old pipes or appliances, you can actually sell it for a lot of money. So this is an element. The next one, a chocolate chip cookie. A chocolate chip cookie consists of obviously chocolate, it consists of dough, oils, and a lot of other components. So this is a mixture and specifically it's a heterogeneous mixture. The difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous is the following. A homogeneous mixture has the same uniform appearance and composition throughout. Think of pure milk. So even though milk consists of water, cream, and several other components, it's mixed so well that you don't see the separation of these components. And this is why sometimes homogeneous mixtures are referred to as solutions. Now a heterogeneous mixture, which is this chocolate chip cookie, consists of visibly different substances or chemically of different phases. So this is why a chocolate chip cookie is a heterogeneous mixture. And finally, in question C, nitrox, a combination of oxygen and nitrogen used to fill scuba tanks. So when you go scuba diving, you have a tank, and the tank consists of gases that you would find in the atmosphere as you breathe. For example, you'll find nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, and so on. So you might sort of think that this consists of elements and compounds, and you might classify it as a pure substance, but that's not the case. We have a mixture of gases, so it is a mixture and it is a homogeneous mixture because the gases have a uniform composition. It's always the same percentage everywhere. Approximately 78% nitrogen to 22% oxygen, something like that. So this is a mixture, but a homogeneous one. In question number two, a salad dressing is prepared with oil, vinegar, and chunks of blue cheese. Is this homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture? Of course, each of these components has a different state, oil, is a fluid, so is vinegar, and cheese is a solid. So they're not all composed of the same state, and you can visibly see the components when you look at the salad. So this is a heterogeneous mixture. And there you have it. A few simple examples on how to classify mixtures. If you have any questions, please use our website at biology-forums.com.